130 in the Bronco. Just kidding, I think the Speedo's ringing out. We stopped because we started hearing something funky. As you can tell, it's super windy and we were kind of in a direct headwind, so we may have just been hitting, hearing wind hit the truck weird and we're not used to hearing since we more or less had tailwind up to this point, so see what happens. first mechanical, the first real mechanical of the trip. For whatever reason, the truck just started sputtering and then uh, died on me and had trouble restarting and then died again. Not sure what's going on, we'll have to take a look. Well, it's just shot 10 p.m. We're in West Cliff, Colorado, um, filling up gas. We actually ended up pushing this uh, fill a little further than we intended to. The last town that we went through, we were hoping to fill up, didn't have gas. So, uh, but luckily we made it, even though the gas tank was showing empty. Um, we'll see exactly how how accurate empty is for this thing. But anyways, uh, we're just shy of 600 miles from uh, Oklahoma City today, which doesn't sound like a lot, but we're probably only averaging like 60 miles an hour for the most bit with all the headwind. Um, so good to get through into here into cooler temps. It's uh, it's nice and cool here. Probably I'd say high 40s. Uh, Bronco doesn't have a temp gauge, so I don't really know what the ambient temp is. But anyways, we uh, almost smoked a mule deer on the way in. Luckily, the uh, F3, F350 brakes gave us uh, some good stopping power. We locked up all four wheels and able to dodge that mess. So we're gonna fill up here and uh, probably start looking for National Forest, BLM, something or other that we can uh, set up camp and camp for the night. I'm getting pretty tired and I'm pretty ready for bed. Uh, I haven't slept very well the last couple nights. So hopefully we can find a nice place and uh, sleep well. I don't know if that's a joke or what. If it's 69 or 96 or if that's just coincidence. This was camp last night. We met some guy at a gas station, asked him where a good place to camp around here was, and he ended up just offering up his place, so worked out pretty well. Top of Monarch Pass, I think it's right around 11,000 foot or so. So far, Bronco's been doing good. Keep rolling. recreation area now we're going for uh fins and things it's a trail that was recommended by a friend of mine so apparently it's i think it's like a modern trail so hopefully something where we could have a little fun without getting too crazy and worrying about breaking anything here we are 
took the rack off so it doesn't drag on all the obstacles didn't really have anywhere to put it so we just hit it behind this tree so hopefully it's still there when we come back in a second all right off we go Views of the LaSalle Mountains. A couple Jeeps on course over there. Bronco looks at home in this stuff. With this long hood, you can't your uh, perspective is horrible whenever you're going downhill stuff. You can't see anything out of here. This looks like you're falling off the face of the earth. Didn't even drag. What? Didn't even drag. Pretty wild looking place. This one will be a little interesting for the Bronco with no front lockers. Right here is where I'm a little bit worried. Yep, that's exactly what I'm, whether I'm gonna be able to make it through this or not, I don't know. Make it up that pretty deep hole. Can't really tell on the camera, but it was uh, definitely a little hole there. Got a shelf here. We'll see if we can pop it. All sorts of clearance under there. Got two different options here. Kind of steppy downhill on this one where we got a little more tame version i think let's see what this thing can do we don't have to worry about traction to climb so let's see what this clearance has got okay. you all right
in a little bit. We still have the tires aired up from trying to get mileage on the highway. We haven't even uh, deflated it all, so I'm sure if we had aired down a little bit, it would have been a little bit easier, but part of it's out of laziness and part of it's also kind of, uh, if we get stuck, then we have the option to air down and, and kind of still have that as a reserve. If we air down and get stuck, then we're kind of just in trouble. <laughs> Let's see if it catches the rear too. You'll probably eat a little on the back here, but you're all right. Says so difficulty increases ahead. Well, that's good. We survived. Nothing broken yet. Front end is popping a little bit, but I think we're good. No one stole our rack, so that's nice. <laughs>